Hey guys, it's been it's been quite a while since I've actually done any kind of a sort of like a chatty vloggy type of video, and um, and and you know I think it was actually technically when we went to Vegas, and I don't really like to vlog unless I have something to share or say, and I really haven't you know haven't done that um, a lot. But I'm just going to catch you up on a couple of things in my life, and and then I'm going to probably um, share with you some stuff you probably want to know about skincare stuff like that <laughs> maybe anyways I I've been one of the things that has happened to me that was a, a total total surprise and it was a wonderful surprise is that I'm going to be a grandmother again so my oldest son Marty who is he has he's the the, the child that had lived with me in the attached apartment in my property he had um found a wonderful, wonderful woman that I absolutely adore. I think she's just a great, great addition to our family. She has a child, and he's an adorable little boy. He's the same age as my granddaughter, Paige's. They get along wonderfully. Well, anyways, long story short, Marty and Ang Angela, I hope she doesn't mind I use her name in my video, um, have have they got engaged. They, they bought a home together. They got engaged. Marty moved out and moved into his farmhouse with Angela and her son. And then they're planning a wedding. So they were planning a wedding and, uh, and then, then life things happen, you know, and, um, they ended up getting pregnant. So I'm going to be a grandmother sometime around October of this year. I'm super, super excited. I don't know yet if it's a girl or a boy. I, I don't. Um, but I could not be more happier for my son, Marty, to have found a woman like Angela. She's a nurse. She's a sweetheart. She's very kind and caring. And I've often said that nurses make the best real estate agents. I've said that in many, many videos and many times. But um, because they're kind and compassionate and caring people. And that's that's what she is. So she's very, very, and she's very friendly, um, very outgoing and friendly. So I'm really super, super happy for Marty and Angela and Kaysen because he's going to either have a little stepbrother or sister and their family unit. So I'm so, I'm, I'm so beyond thrilled. So they had come over and they had given me, it was after my birthday and I thought, well, geez, there's a belated birthday present. They gave me this little gift bag and I opened it up and this is most adorable adorable baby onesie came out and I was like oh, oh I thought it was a joke at first <laughs> but it wasn't so um so that was like super awesome and many of you know that my niece Kayla had a baby boy CJ and I've shown different pictures of him and he's absolutely adorable he's an adorable little guy and so, you know, the family, the cousins are expanding. My granddaughter, Paige, will have a step cousin, Kaysen, and then a cousin, a little baby cousin. And then my sister's daughters, you know, two of them have, have children. So it's really nice to see the nuclear, the, the family, my side of the family anyway, starting to expand that way because we've always been traditionally a very small family. So, um, and the other thing that, happened this week is my mom and dad celebrated their 69th wedding anniversary. So my sister and I took them out to dinner. We went to a local restaurant in Hampstead, the Pasta Loft, and, and um, we just sat upstairs and we had a low-key dinner. It just it was just really wonderful. Anyways, one of the waitresses took our, our photo. This is the photo of us all sitting around the table. I tried to get my mom on camera. I tried to get her to, um, to, to maybe give some words of wisdom, but she didn't want it. I did do a little Insta clip. I'll insert that. It's just a 15 second clip of us around the table. Um, this is about all I could get my mother on video with. She just hates the way she sounds. So, but so that, that was really, those that was really two exciting things that have happened recently that I know I haven't shared with you. Being a grandmother again is like, it, it's like I, I never thought my son would have any children. So it's like really, really awesome. And then my mom and dad, 69 years of wedded bliss, as I say, they've had their ups and downs, but uh, 69 years of being married to each other. Both of them are 91. They're doing fantastic. I mean, look at this picture of my mom. Look how great she looks at 91. It's like, I mean, super, super awesome. So, and other than that, I've been, I've been working a lot of hours. I, you know, I'm really excited that 
the weather is changing, spring is coming. I'm really looking forward to much better weather because I am so sick of the cold, the snow, the rain, the ice. And also summer, you know, um, we have a couple of trips coming up with our camper. We're not going away anywhere. Like last year we went to Canada. We're not doing any kind of a big trip in the motorhome. We are going to be doing our Bar Harbor trip and our weekend beach trips as much as possible. And then we have a trip in September that I'm super excited about. And, um, and I might have a trip in November that I'm super, super excited about too. So I'm not too sure. Um, both the September and the November trips are going to be short trips. The November trip now, if my, if my baby grandchild is, you know, it, it, a lot of that's going to hinge on the baby. I want to be here for the birth. And so if the baby is late, that might impact November a little bit. So, um, yeah, so that's, I, I don't want to rush summer. I really don't want to rush summer, but I am looking forward to fall this year. Probably the first time I'm really looking forward to fall because of a baby, an amazing September trip, and an amazing November potential trip. So I'm really looking forward to fall. Other than that, I think um, I've had a couple of questions on on my videos, on my Retin-A videos that I've done, and a couple of questions on my wig. So um, I was wearing my Henry Margot wig, and it kind of, I really, I love the Hayden wig. I wear it 99% of the time. Uh, well, I wear two different wigs on um, on my videos. So I love my Henry Magu wig. I've worn that the longest because that was the first one that was actually sent to me, um, which was a total shock when I got that wig. So I decided I wanted to wash it. So I ended up buying, and I'll show you, I'm going to insert the clip in here. I, I ended up buying wig washing stuff to see how my wig would come out, and I, I gave it a good wash. And you can see the clips. This is what I used. And I filled this up with cool water and I put my my Hayden wig in here. The directions say to gently swish around and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to let it soak in here and then I'm going to rinse it and then I'm going to lay it flat on a towel and then I'll let it air dry naturally. So I've let this soak. Now I'm going to rinse it with cool water. I'll try to rinse it out really good. This is a new experience for me because I've never done this before. I followed directions. Just in here and just let it fill up a little bit just so that I can make sure that I rinse it really good. And it has to be cool water. It can't be warm water. You know, it can't be hot water because of the fibers of this wig. I think I pretty well have it rinsed out. Gently wring it out. You're not supposed to comb it out. I'm just going to wring it out. And then I'm going to let it sort of sit here and then just kind of like let that soak. And then afterwards, I'll put it on a wig stand and comb it through a little bit, but you're not supposed to comb it through. This is her trying to, but she's getting some nice waves. So I thought the wig came out really good. I've worn it a couple of times in the videos that you've already seen. It came out really good, bouncy and all that. I don't know why I was so afraid to wash it, but it was. The The other thing that I've been using an awful lot of is this product called Wow. This was actually sent to me from the Octoline Network. And the it was one of the products that I wanted to try because it was a hair texturizing spray. And when you have thin hair, and right now I know my hair is up so you're not seeing it, but those of you who've seen my hair, so you know my hair is thinning. When you have thin hair and limp and it's fine, you really need all the help you can get with texturizing. So I asked for this product. They approved me. I have been using it for, I think, a good almost two and a half weeks now. 
I'm going to insert the can here and give you all the details. And I will tell you my feelings about it. I really like it. It gives me a good boost of texture in my hair. So a couple of times, and I'm going to put some of my clips in here from my Insta stories. So you can see a couple of times um, I, I fixed my hair with the Beachy Waves. All I had in there for product was the Wow for texturizing. And then I would do the Beachy Waves with my curling iron. And then I would spray with my, my hairspray at the end of it. And I sometimes could go two days. Sometimes the second day, even the third day, I would just have to reboost my hair with the wow. I really, I really like it a lot. I thought it was really good. Now, my hands down number one favorite is still going to be my living proof. I do like that. It is extremely expensive and I only have a small can of it. And I am going to try something that's sold out on Walmart. Um, it's called Helium. And it was Marge, um, who skinny low carb lady, um, she, she had told me about it. She's using it. She loves it. So I keep checking the Walmart site to see if it's back, but it's on back order. When it comes in, I'm going to order that helium stuff because I want to try it for the texturizing on my hair. So I'm really, really liking that. Um, so I wanted to mention that because that was a couple of questions about the wigs and wig maintenance. I am getting another wig. I don't know if the wig will be in by the time this video goes live, but I am getting another wig and, and, um, that was that's also a Raquel Welch wig that I, I'm getting from wigs.com. So the wigs that I have, it's a Henry, my Henry Magu, my Hayden wig. I have two of those in two different colors and two different blondes. And um, I always wanted to try the longer one, the Kendall, uh, in Henry Margu. I haven't tried that. But now the more I've been playing with wigs, the more I'm thinking I want to go completely different style. So I think it's really good in the beginning when you're trying to figure it out you know, what style looks good, how wigs work. I mean, there's some wigs I have that when I put on my head, I, I, you know, got a lot of negative comments that it was too much hair, too shiny, too this, too that. And I appreciate all those comments, positive or negative, because they only help me get better. You know, they only help me get better. So I really, really like that. I'm thinking, though, of seeing if I can try a topper, you know, just a topper to see if you get like a little bit more volume. Um, I did get approached by someone for hair extensions, which I'm still talking to them about, you know, trying those, and we'll see how that works. But hair is an ongoing ongoing dilemma for me, you know, it really is. So, um, yeah, so as I learn stuff, I will, I will, um, I'll let you guys all know that. The other question I keep getting, I keep, I get so many of you that ask about Retin-A, and sometimes I feel like I'm a broken record on Retin-A. And I do buy my Retin-A from a pharmacy overseas in India. And the price of my Retin-A for a tube that I buy there, if I factor in the shipping, it's just hair under $10 for that tube. Here, if it's on sale somewhere, I might get it in my area for about 100 but the average is about 285 for the same tube, $285 for the same tube that I can get with shipping for under $10 in India. I get it from a, I'll link, I'll link it below. I've been using them for two years now. The Retin-A with the hydroquinone that I've been using that, um, also bought from there. Um, I, and this was the questions I keep getting. Do I feel comfortable buying from India? This is my call. I do feel comfortable. I have a separate checking account set up where I just keep in 75 maybe $100, all depends, and I just use it for ordering things like that. Uh, that's how I did it. I have a free checking account, so I'm not paying for it. I, you know, and and then I do an e-check, and I pay by e by e-check. It works out fine for me. I have never had a problem with their service. I've never had a problem with their products. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. I am really careful. I worry about cyber theft. I worry about people hacking into my accounts. And thus, I have that one checking account that I set up purposely for that purpose so that if it ever got hacked into or whatever, um, or if they ever forge something or something of that nature, there's only so much money in that checking account. You know, sometimes it's 50 bucks. Sometimes it's 75. The most has ever been is 100. So I will place a bigger order of my Retin-A. I'll get it for my sister, uh, my hairdresser sometimes. 
um, you know, a few other people, and I'll place a bigger order of it. That way, the shipping is cheaper. The more you order, the less the shipping charges are, etc. And sometimes, depends on the month, when you're ordering, they have specials, no free shipping, or they have specials on their product. But I have been getting my Retin-A from them from the get-go. Very When I first got my prescription, Retin-A, I shopped around in the States here in New Hampshire, couldn't afford it. My my dermatologist recommended I go through Canada. I went online through Canada, and it still was uh, in the 40s. It was much significantly cheaper than buying it here, but it was still pricier than India. And then when I discovered India, and there are many other content creators on YouTube that use an overseas pharmacy for their Retin-A. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm not saying that you should take that chance. I'm I'm answering your questions on why I buy it, because it's affordable. I never had the best health insurance, so it is extremely affordable. And, um, and I've had no problems with it, so it, it works for me. It, um, I also was, for the longest time, getting my care post from the same pharmacy. Extremely affordable. I get my, my eyelash serums blink sent to me uh, from an overseas pharmacy as well. Their ordering process is a little different. I give a lot, do a lot of giveaways. I like to give that away. I happen to like the blink product is identical to Careprost. Identical. So if you're getting Careprost, blink, no difference. See, the only thing I ever saw difference, I think, between the two of them is I thought the blink made my uh, natural lashes a little darker. But that was just me. So I've never had any side effects. I've never had any issues. And these are all things that can happen. So you've got to be really super careful because you can get side effects and you can have issues. And so if you're going to be doing any kind of eyelash serum stuff, my goodness gracious, do your research and make sure you feel comfortable that it's right for you. I monitor very carefully. My eyes have not turned colors. I don't have any specs, but I monitor it very carefully. And I did take a break of almost from February, March in to almost two months of a break from Blink. And during that time, I used the City Beauty Eyelash Serum, which, by the way, I like a lot. I used it morning and night. Now I'm just using it in the morning. It's a real, it's got some really nice ingredients in there. I think it does more for conditioning your lashes, making your lashes perhaps stronger, perhaps not having as much fallout. I didn't notice when I was using the City Beauty a astronomical eyelash growth. But he didn't notice a fallout either. So last time I went off Blink a year ago, I noticed a huge fallout. I was like, holy mackerel. I never noticed that with the City Beauty. So I would actually say the City Beauty, which, by the way, I should say, was sent to me. Um, that was a PR thing that came from City Beauty. They reached out. They, they said, would you like to give this a try? We'll send you some stuff. I had no idea what they were going to send me. And they sent me a bunch of stuff. Lippies, eyelash cream. I'm, I'm using the cream. I like their sculpting cream. It's too soon for me to really talk about whether it works or not. I've been using it. Uh, and their eyelash uh, serum I've been using for two months. Now I'm just using it once a day because I'm ready to go back on to Blink to, to have some more regrowth and uh, or growth because your eyelashes go through cycles. So Gosh, I know I'm Gabby. So this is kind of just a Gabby answering some of your questions. India, uh, you know, the reliable RX pharmacies worked out really good for my Retin-A and for my Careprost uh, when I was buying it. And now my Blink, um, you know, same thing. It's really, it's worked out really well for me. I will say that I I did go to a dermatologist. If you're thinking of going on Retin-A, Go see a dermatologist. Get a get a script whether you use it or not. I get a script every year. They check my skin for, you know, my um, cancer spots, my sun damage, um, my sun damage, my sun, whatever you call it, basal cancer. So they, they, check, they check me all the time, and I always get a new script. So if I'm ever in a situation where they want a script, I can send them a script because I have a script for Retin-A. You know, Retin-A, I, I often say it, it's, it's a blessing and a curse. You can go through some god-awful, ugly phases with Retin-A use. You really can. It's a blessing and a curse. So the blessing is that over time, your skin gets better. And when my skin isn't going through a peely cycle, my skin is really good. For 65 years old, my skin is really good. My skin tone is better. My wrinkles are better. Um, everything is better about my skin. Now, I still have wrinkles. They haven't gone away. I do. I have lots of wrinkles, actually. And I still have a lot of veins all over my face. I have, you know, um, 
even though my tone is better, my nose is still very red. I've, you know, my skin can be blotchy without foundation. So it's not perfect. Not by any stretch, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. However, the curse is the uglies. And I know after a while that I know now after almost three years, it'll be three years in August, I know that my skin goes in cycles. In the wintertime, it's worse than in the summer and the spring. So I know three days after, I might have a, a phase of peeling where my peeling lasts for three days or four days. And I know that. So if I'm going to a wedding or something really important, I'm going to back right off of that, baby. I'm going to back right. Other than that, I've got a video on trying to deal with it, and I and I deal with it. I wouldn't... I wouldn't trade it for anything. I wouldn't trade those flakes for anything right now because I know the blessing part of Retin-A is, is much, much bigger, better, more powerful, longer lasting than the curse part of it. But it is a blessing and a curse. And it is not for everybody. So um, yeah, I think I addressed those questions. So this is kind of a rambly little catch up with me lifestyle type of a video. And um, thank you if you watch the whole thing. Please be sure to, to like the video. Please be sure to leave me a comment. And if you're not subscribed, I really wish you would hit that subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when I upload. It's amazing to me how many people watch my videos that are not subscribed to my videos, um, to my channel. It, it, that always kind of blows my mind. But yeah, and I'm thinking about it. If everybody who... Because it's like, last time I looked, it was like 68% of you guys watching my video right now are not subscribed. And I'm thinking, gosh, if, if, if even half of you subscribed, that would be like super, super amazing. So please, I'm begging you, if you're one of them that haven't, hit that subscribe button wherever it is. Hit the bell to be notified. And I'm probably going to try to try to change a, a couple of things up on my channel in the sense of how often I upload. Um, I've been liking my Sunday night premieres, and I know as we get in the summertime and all that, the premiere time probably will be switching closer to 8 o'clock. But I like that a lot because I love being able to engage with you guys in the chat room. I, to me, that is the nuts. I can, yes, I, people will say, oh, premieres, you know, I can't watch you. But yeah, you can. After the premiere, just watch the video again. That's all. Just watch it again. But during the video, if you're in the chat room, we're talking real time. So, you know, you can be asking questions. We can be going back and forth. And after a while, everyone in the chat room starts to really know each other. And it's... It's awesome when I'm starting to see all these friendships blossom and you guys are, are there talking to me and I'm able to answer you back right away. It's like, it's, to me, it's the nuts. It really is. So anyways, I had to be quiet because I'm going on and on and on. So thank you all so much for all your support. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.